Hello everyone. Robot DSMM is a robotic team uh, formed by students from Nanyang Technological University (NTU) from Singapore. Uh, the, uh, the team members are Thor and Sue. And the team first international RoboCat experience was RoboCat Asia Pacific Canteen Invitation Tournament 2019. Team names back then was Robot EHS as Rescue. Also under the same team name with other two new members, we also competed, competed in RoboCat Asia Pacific 2019 in Moscow as a team of four. In both of these competitions, we participated in Cosplay Rescue University category. In addition, we also participated in uh, virtual RoboCat Asia Pacific 2020 last year. Uh, we will not talk about the challenge test for the league. The first of our challenges is to navigate and find the bus path, the best way towards the area where the object's bones are located. Secondly, uh, we needed to collect objects as many as we can within a limited time. And lastly, uh, we are required to avoid traps, obstacles, and depose the collector object successfully at the assigned zone. Um, uh, moving on, we want to discuss the problems we have faced. These include moving over the traps and losing points, the car running into walls, obstacles, and opponent car, and car moving in random directions in the field. So we use various methods to solve such problems, as you can see on the table show. For example, in the first problem, we rely on two color sensors of the robotic car to sense the one, one area of the trap and avoid the rear trap. Let's move, let's move on to the analysis of the challenge. In preparing for the match, the first thing we did was breaking down the whole big task to smaller subtasks, such as finding the object spawn area range and the boundaries, and modifying the code as you can see in the list here. If we were focusing a lot on the bigger picture all the time, the task might be daunting for us. So dividing them into smaller tasks help us to have smaller goals and we can get motivation every time we finish each small task. For our case, we used a star algorithm to make our robot find an optimal path to move around the map. Then we, then we made use of tools such as code blocks and Microsoft Paint to carry out our respective functions. We wanted to use these tools because for code blocks, it is open source IDRMN. It is a fully configurable and extendable IDE with functional tools for developers. And for the Microsoft, for the Microsoft Paint, it was easy for us to resize the pixels, rotate and fill up the colors more accurately compared to other softwares. For the implementation, this is the flowchart for our ASA algorithm. The program starts to operate when the algorithm receives the current and target X and Y points of the robot. And at the end of the flowchart, a set of X, Y positions of the points comprising an optimal path is obtained. Luckily, the robot performed as what we have planned and coded most of the time. Sometimes they are overshot in the speed of the car, resulting in the car crossing over the traps and making us lose point for our team. We realized that it could be because of the inaccuracy while setting the speed of the, uh, each function. However, however, after reviewing the code, we have reduced the problem of the speed overshot. In conclusion, the result we get is satisfying as a robot can navigate around the map more efficiently and fulfill the competition task. It means that we are asked to solve the same challenge again and we could take more time to adjust the speeds of the speeds to the most optimal condition so that the robot won't overshot into the traps or hit the obstacles. Taking part in this competition, we've got lots of learning experiences about the pathfinding algorithms and sensors. And since and since our cap challenge this time is fully online, we have to keep up with the momentum for the competition every week despite having our other, com other commitment. It was a valuable experience for us and we would like to thank everyone for making this competition successful. Thank you for your attention. This is the end of the presentation.